Time now for a look through the international headlines we're following at this hour. For that, we turn to our Eunice Kim standing by at the news centre. Eunice, for the second time in two days, Islamist militants have seized control of another Iraqi city. That's right, they're getting closer to the nation's capital of Baghdad, and this just in. The leader, or rather a spokesman for the militants, saying are promising more attacks as Iraq expresses its openness to have U.S. airstrikes help them hold back the insurgency. Kim Hyun-bin has the story. The Islamist militants have claimed another city in Iraq, the second this week. The one day after taking control of Iraq's second city of Mosul on Tuesday, militants from the ISIL, an offshoot of Al-Qaeda, overran the city of Tikrit, which lies just 150 kilometers north of Baghdad. The turn of events represents a huge blow to Prime Minister Nouri al-Maliki's attempt to fend back the insurgency, which has made massive strides since U.S. troops left the country last year. He also took aim at the security personnel who fled the city of Mosul instead of defending their posts. I am saying this is a conspiracy because the numbers of al-Qaeda and ISIL forces could not have confronted the army and police forces that were located there. But what has happened? And how have the military units collapsed? The recent turns of events has raised concerns that Baghdad could be targeted in future operations by the militants. The U.S. has pledged appropriate assistance to help the Iraqi government and security forces. Uh, we are working uh, with Iraqi leaders from across the country to support a coordinated response. Uh, you can expect that we will provide additional assistance to the Iraqi government uh, to combat the threat from... During his trip to Greece on Tuesday, Iraqi Foreign Minister Hashar Zibari said his fellow leaders must unite to face a mortal threat. Zibari added that Baghdad will work with forces from Kurdistan to drive the fighters out of Mosul. Kim Bin, Arirai News.